I don't know about you, but I can't wait until heaven. I mean, imagine heaven. No more sorrow, no more pain, a full head of hair. Whatever the case may be, heaven's going to be wonderful. There will be no more challenges. And you know, it's interesting. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, Paul is navigating life on earth just like you and I. And he's navigating difficulty, challenge, sorrow, and sadness. He calls it, even this certain situation in his life, a thorn in the flesh. In 2 Corinthians 12, he tells us that he's been seeking God to take away whatever this situation was from his life. But listen to the response of Jesus here in 2 Corinthians 12. Paul writes, Three times I begged the Lord to take it away. Each time he said, My grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. So now Paul writes, I'm glad to boast about my weakness so that the power of Christ can work through me. You know, it's not heaven until it's heaven. On this side of eternity, life is broken. There's pain and challenge and sorrow and, and disappointment for sure. But listen to me, there's Christ, there's his grace. And it's in our weakness that he is seen to be strong on our behalf. So although I don't know what's going on in your life today, I can say this in confidence, that God is doing something in you and God desires to do something through you. And quite often, struggle, struggle's not your enemy, struggle's your friend. It's through struggle by which God strengthens you and draws you closer to him. And just as Jesus said to Paul, I believe to us today, Jesus would say this, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. So whatever you're navigating today, I wanna encourage you, come to the Lord, give it to him, trust him, and allow the Lord to minister to your heart and to work amidst the weakness, the struggle, the sorrow that's in your life, because truly, just as Jesus says right here, his grace is all you need.